This is five on your side at five, focused on you. Now at five, an effort to get more police officers in St. Louis County. Right now, county police are down 100 officers. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brent Solomon. Those who think they have what it takes got an opportunity to learn more about getting into law enforcement. Our Travis Cummings explains. We have applicants that are able to move through the full testing process today. Reeling in new recruits. St. Louis County Police are hoping to have the people in this room testing on their team soon. Typically this is done in a couple days and we're trying to streamline that process and make it a little bit easier for applicants to move forward in the hiring process. Applicants took to the St. Louis County and Municipal Police Academy Saturday to test the mental and physical. They got a taste of air support and canine training. With the department heavily spread across the county on calls lately, Kim Haw says it's perfect timing. Also, anything that the public is calling in with, that would be a directed assignment. But then our officers are also able to do self-initiated activities. So that would be traffic enforcement or they're driving down the street and they see something on view. St. Louis County PD recruitment staff say they're still short about 100 officers roughly. And they're hoping that the people applying and a future graduating class will change that. The goal is to get them into our June Academy class that starts on June 24th and they will graduate mid-December of 2024. Whatever your background is, we can use it in our police department because we, we have a diverse community that we uh, police every day and that we serve and that we interact with. And if you're looking for a career in law enforcement, it's more than just the paperwork and physical. You have to have a good heart. You have to want to help others. Travis Cummings, five on your side. And the department is also looking for security officers, public safety dispatchers, and clerks. You can find a link inside of this story on KSDK.com. Right now, the families of two teens involved in an off-campus fight this month are offering more context to what happened. Hazelwood East student Kaylee Gain had to go to the hospital after a brutal fight. Marnice DeClue was charged with her classmates' assault. The parents of both students have been taking turns sharing their version of events. In a statement, Kaylee Gaines' parents said she's gone a few short walks now and has been able to engage in limited verbal conversations. Marnice DeClue's family released their own statement, hoping to address, quote, the misconception surrounding her character. Gaines' family is calling DeClue to be charged as an adult, citing screenshots of deleted social media posts. They believe DeClue joked about joining MMA or WWE after that fight. Well, we looked into those claims and we can verify that DeClue did not tweet about participating in MMA or joining WWE after fighting with Kaylee Gain. For full details, visit the As Soon on TV section of KSDK.com and search for our verify segment of this story. Campaigns for the general election are in full force. A look at why both candidates were in New York this week. And later, sticker shock on chocolate. What's causing Easter candy to skyrocket?
Well, this week, a $26 million night for the Biden campaign became a star-studded fundraiser. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell reports on the historic fundraiser and what the Trump campaign has to say in response. With a dramatic flourish, three presidents emerged. Democratic donors posted their images of this entrance at a glitzy New York City fundraiser needling a fourth president, Donald Trump, with a twist on the sensitive issue of age. In this clip released by the Biden campaign. I mean, all the things he's doing are so old. Speaking of old. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's a little old and out of shape anyway. Tapping into the political skills of Bill Clinton and Barack Obama to sell the Biden agenda. Democrats looking for a counterpoint to polling that shows voter frustrations with President Biden. You've got record-breaking job growth. You've got an unemployment rate that is as low as it has been. For African Americans, by the way, the lowest on record ever. Tickets started at $250, but donations soared as high as a half million for the star-studded night. The event raised $26 million, while outside a large and loud protest over President Biden's policy on the Israel-Hamas war. Meanwhile, former President Trump created his own contrast, joining mourners grieving NYPD officer Jonathan Diller, who was shot and killed, the suspect a repeat offender. Mr. Trump slamming President Biden for not directly reaching out to the Dillers. They could have called. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know. Even a call would be perhaps nice. I'm not sure they'd take his call. And there's a municipal election next week in Missouri. You can read more about all of the issues and even find a polling place near you. Just go to ksdk.com guide or you can text the word guide to 314-425-5355. Some Spectrum customers are hearing about ways to cut their internet bills in half. Is the deal too good to be true? We verify. 